So, you know what? We have one thing to do right now. Let's talk. We love you, Hello. <laughs> <laughs> and you look marvelous. <laughs> hey, really quick, Evan, before we start talking and hit on our first uh, topic, I want everyone to listen up. Because at some point in today's show, we're going to reveal a my word of the day. When you hear it, if you go to our website, thedoctorstv.com, you're going to get a chance to win this, I guess, over $600 Mary Lie purse. Wow. And we're going to reveal later on what's in this purse, how it might help you look younger. So good luck, everyone. Now, Travis, you call it a purse. We call it a bag. That's a bag. This is actually that's a nice, a nice bag. I would wear a purse, this would be the and that's a man purse. purse. Bag. No. It's a beautiful Oh, so, yeah. So, you know, and everyone's going to have a chance to win. But, Sharon, yes. I do want to touch upon one thing because you, you've you lost some weight. I have. And, and the good part is that I've maintained it because over the years, I mean, I've never kept it a secret. I've had a terrible weight problem my entire life. I used to be 230 pounds. I've tried everything from powders to potions to diet pills to having a band put on my stomach, which nearly killed me. <laughs> and um, the only thing that I have managed to keep my weight off is Atkins. And yes, I am a spokesperson for Atkins. And yes, they pay me very nicely. But but the truth is the truth. And I wouldn't be sat here today and giving you a lot of this if it wasn't for real. Anyone can do it. You don't feel deprived of food. You can even have their bars that they do, which have chocolate, which I'm an addict to chocolate. And so you can even have chocolate on it. You know, instead of a meal, you can have a shake. But I like to eat. I like to eat. And, and I don't you, want you to admit, not eat. You admit this, all, this idea of maintaining weight loss is the toughest part. I can't wait to get your take on what we're about to discuss now. Tell me everything Because, now. you know, we've all tried extreme things when it comes to diets. Well, this is a diet trend that takes weight loss to a new extreme. Today we'll be doing a procedure in April called a tongue patch. So the tongue patch procedure is something my dad developed back in 2009. The tongue patch itself is basically a Marlex mesh that gets affixed to the tongue and secured with some nylon sutures that stays there for a month's time. The patch actually makes it uncomfortable for the patients to eat solid food. I do have addiction to food and I use food as comfort. Therefore, I feel like this is the best procedure for me because I'm forced to be on a liquid diet. There's been a lot of controversy that's surrounded this procedure because it creates pain or discomfort. But, you know, all those critics, I tell them, what's more extreme, putting a piece of mesh on someone's tongue or going and rerouting someone's internal plumbing and doing a bypass surgery? I think the answer is fairly obvious. On the average, most patients will lose anywhere between 16 and 20 pounds in the span of about a month. Okay, the patch is on now. I have six sutures holding it down. It's all done. Not too bad, huh? Now, I feel that this procedure is not extreme. I'm finding that about 70% of the patients are able to keep the weight off once that one month period is over. This procedure is good for people that need to lose weight quickly. We actually have Dr. Paul and Nicholas Chugay here, as well as their patient, April. April, do you have the patch in now? Yes. Show us your tongue, Mrs. Go on. Does it hurt? Not at all. It doesn't hurt. Does it hurt when you eat? It feels eating? a little funny, only because I'm not used to having something on my tongue, but it doesn't hurt. Um, no, I don't. I'm not going to eat. That's why the whole point of it is for a liquid diet. So. What happens when you eat food with that? I haven't tried it, and I will not try, try. it. <laughs> Does everything still taste the same? Like when you drink juice, does it taste the same? I haven't dropped, well, I only got it yesterday, so I haven't started the juice yet, but I have had the protein shakes and they taste fine. Let's talk about why there's a need for something like this. I mean, let's talk about the philosophy of this. I mean, you say in the piece, or it's said in the piece, that it's for people who need to lose weight quickly. That's one question. The second thing is, aren't there other ways to lose weight that are less invasive and will be more long-term? There are some people that tried everything. They tried anything and everything. And they said, doctor, I've tried everything. I need to lose those 30 pounds. Can you help me? 
and this is the type of procedure for that person. A guy that, that wants to lose 25, 30 pounds and can do it on his own, that's perfect. He can be on Jenny Craig, he can be on Atkins and lose that weight. So here there's a patients that have extreme problem they have not How are been they going to keep it off she's going to go like a nutter when that comes up and have a burger because you've been deprived you've been deprived you cannot maintain that and it's the same thing as getting a rat and you see pets and they put them in these little hallways and as soon as they go through an archway they get an electric shock that's what you're doing to her it's an experiment that cannot work it's a procedure that has been done on thousands of people Where? in South America. That's insane! Take that thing off your tongue. South America, how did you get a license to do it here? We've done over 100 patients. Out of those, out of those, 70% of patients were able to keep that weight off. A year's time. Some of them are three years now. Okay, okay. So, now, so, so, so talk about. Oh, you know, I want you to touch upon something. Yes, this. yes. Listen, listen. You also, you also have them consuming 800 calories a day. Absolutely. Okay. Guess what? Anyone who's overweight is going to lose weight on 800 calories a day. So, yes. so they, hold on, hold on, hold on. The issue, the issue becomes. Is it really the patch on the tongue that's doing it, or is it the fact that they're consuming less calories? And that. if it's them consuming less calories, there are all kinds of safer, more inexpensive ways. So, so without judging, what we all want is actually sort of the straight answer. Because you can, I'm telling you right now, if you look at all the studies, they look at weight loss, and it's after that one year that 80, 90 plus percent of people gain the weight back. I mean, these all your quote-unquote studies where you say 70% of patients kept the weight off for eight months, right. that's that's invalid to me. Okay. Eight months doesn't matter. Can we get it's it's three, four, five yeah, years it was, later. So, it so that's what I... eight months. Uh, basically, the study you're referring to is the one that we've actually submitted for publication. Basically, it's a retrospective review of the patients that we've treated since 2009, since the procedure was first introduced. And in that time period, we've seen patients, you know, that are the initial patients, you know, back in 2009, we've seen the more recent patients. And so the average weight loss, when you actually com compare all the patients that were studied in that uh, paper, is about eight months. If someone does want to put this patch on their tongue to irritate the roof of their mouth so that every time they eat it's a painful experience how much would this cost the price for the procedure itself is two thousand dollars and that includes oh. the diet it includes a weekly visit with us because you can't go on a very low calorie diet right. as the national institute for diabetes and kidney disease will tell you you can't go on one of these very low calorie diets without a doctor's supervision okay i want to be really fair to you and just say you this okay would you at least agree that you're not recommending this for the majority of people who need to lose weight. I agree with you entirely. That this is a very small number of people, right. that there are some risks involved, sure. and that this is not a mainstream procedure. It is not a mainstream procedure, but by the same token, I think it's a good alternative to something like Miss Osborne underwent a lap band procedure or a gastric well, now, bypass. Well, now, Doc, you're a larger gentleman yourself. Right. Are you going to use the patch? Well, I was actually almost 300 pounds at the end of my residency, and now I'm down to 250 pounds. So did you have it? No, I did it the old-fashioned way. Okay. And, but sometimes people... Sometimes, unfortunately, people need that extra measure. That's why gastric bypass lap banding has become such a mainstream procedure in surgery. But it doesn't work. I had to lap band it. I, I will agree with you to an extent. It, it really takes that right person. But honestly, I've seen the success stories. I've seen the patients that have lost 100, 120 pounds. Yeah, but you pounds. throw up every two minutes, and you throw up, and then you get terrible reflux. Then you've made up. my case for me why this is actually a much safer and less invasive procedure. But I and so, and so we, we do have to go to break and, and we just wanted you to be able to present your cases I, I think we all struggle with it but the one thing I want to tell viewers at home is this is always be careful when you're engaging in a weight loss program of any kind so just be safe we do wish you the best of luck with this thank you so much thank you